Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today we're going to go over my books, my personal scans, and I'm going to show you how I keep tabs on hundreds of thousands of stocks and how you are going to be doing the same thing and you are going to be on the way to stock market success. Let's go. All right, guys, let's jump in. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and analysis. Uh, like I said, we're going to hop right into Finviz and go over my personal account and my scans. Uh, and I will walk you guys through as we go, adding little tidbits and whatnot. Um, so for those of you who <laughs> were not here before, Finviz does not like when I record. So I'm going to shrink myself. I'm going down, 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 down. Um, yeah, so I have to do this in order for, um, the video to work. Um, so we are just going to hop right into the screener area of Finviz and while that loads, cause it takes a hot second. Um, I'm going to show you guys, here is my setup. So I have, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 different scans that I do on a daily basis. Call me crazy. Um, and so what I do for, so this rainy day relative value, um, this has 3,500 individual stocks. So what I do to make this process more automated is when I paste my stocks in here, I have a conditional format set up that will show me if it's a duplicate or not. And then the ones that are not duplicate get pasted into this uniques column. Um, and then at the end of the month, I compile all the uniques for each scanner and I then enter those into my master sheet. Um, and my master sheet is filled with a bunch of goodies. I have 3,963 stocks that I have actively manage. Um, I have alerts on these for when they will be ready. Um, looks like AA is set for 6-1-2022. Awesome. Um, AAOI looks like one that I might have made a move in March of this year. Um, we have... We have tons. We have one for December 2028. Um, so yeah, we got a big mixed bag here. Um, so let's hop right in. Um, so here's my stock scanner. I'm going to have to disappear on you guys because it's going to be the best thing for all of us. But I will be here in the background. Okay, watch. Oh my goodness gracious. Would you look at that? Um, if you guys have not already, could you please like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, scream it from the rooftops, call someone random, uh, just type in a dial, just dial a random number, tell them about my channel, uh, tell them that they're missing out, and uh, let them know that they could be making some coin, or learning how to do it, because I don't know what I'm doing, this is all entertainment, but it did make me seven figures, so, you know. All right, let's, let's do this. Um... So Finviz, I love you. I have a pop-up blocker, but you guys still have ads. So we're going to go to my first screen. So I'm going to zoom in on, on this for you guys. So when I um, click the preset button, you can see I have S, which is screener on the far left. And then there's P, which is portfolio. Um, so we're going to go to the rainy day relative uh, value. Here's my scan if you guys wanted to take a peek. Um, it looks like stocks that are kind of hanging in there. Gross margin is over 20. Relative volume is over five. So these are stocks that basically run in a day. And I, I've already missed the move for this. But the point of this is to add this to my catalog and chart it out when the next cyclical spike is. Um, so let's grab all these bad boys and girls and got a control C and let's go over here and we're going to hit a control shift down arrow and we're going to paste and we have, let's see how many uniques we have. So we have one, two, three uniques and we're going to take those and oops, plop them right there. Now we're going to go to Momo finder. Mo, 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 mo. 
All right. Wow, we only have two. Crazy. Um, here's my scan for this. It is micro stocks with good books, no debt, positive gross margins. In the USA, over 30% growth. Institutions have big, well, I guess 10% is not that big. Um, the price is over the 200. Uh, beta is over one. Price is under seven. Relative volume is not at average. And the shares are at 100 milli. So I only got two there. I'm guessing I'm going to exit out of my master. I just want to show you guys. I'm guessing I have these two, but let's take a peek. I do. Uh, when they fill up with color, that means they're already here. Uh, this scan has 3,400. Ooh, 10 bag knife B. Wonderful. So this is potential 10 baggers that are falling knives. <laughs> Go figure. Um, this, this is a very broad uh, scope. Holy moly, 631. Okay, so I'm going to guess this is 14 pages? 32. Oh my god, the market is disgusting. Um, Jeez. Oh my god. Is that serious? Yeah, it's serious. Well, uh, this is what I could do, so I'm sorry. I'm not going to hold back. Um, maybe I can uh, fast forward this part of the video for everybody. Um, or not. Um, this usually takes just a few minutes. Um, until uh, If you actually click the ticker thing, it actually messes everything up. So, yeah, that's kind of annoying. I'm going to have to reset. Uh, I'm going to go back here to the 10 bag knife B. All right. And custom again. All right. So I already got the first page on to the next page. Do -do -do. So line 12,736. I'll come back. All these are already taken. No surprise. Going on to page number three, we are 10% done, almost. All right. Let's keep it going. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so it's a little easier. Yeah. All right, we've got some in the A's. That's all I need to know. So we are just going through, going through. The market is really bloody right now, which is why we have so freaking fracking many. Um, if you have a Finviz Premium, you can actually hit this export button and it'll do it for you. Uh, but I'm showing you guys the bare bones way. I did, I did make it far, <laughs> doing it this way. Um, although this does look a little treacherous. Um, all right, we're gonna give this a hot second to catch up. Okay, great. Going on down. Okay. All right. Just cruising on through. All right, we are th about 33% done. Um, I think this is the biggest, shoot, the biggest scan. Um, so we will not foresee other ones to be this big, just to FYI. Just going on through, skippity. Skippity doo da. This is commitment to the grind. Let me tell ya. Um, all right. We are getting to the halfway mark. 
Um, what I would suggest for those who have this many results, if you wanted to pare it down, you could add some additional um, data points uh, to filter on to catch these. So these this is important because these are all potential um, 10 bag stocks, which mean they have a low flow. They've been around for a little bit and they can really move. So these are going to be valuable additions into your catalog, um, believe it or not. Okay, so now we're halfway. Very cool. And we are just gonna keep going through. Do, 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 do. After we're done with this one, I'm going to jump on screen and uh, we can take a blow break together. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. We're getting some unique ones. That's great. That's really good. Um, so for this scan, I actually have not ran my scans in um, a month. I took a month off in March. Uh, in the first half of April to uh, catch up on life. Um, I started this YouTube channel. Um, I have started a new diet. Um, I recovered from an injury for uh, Achilles tendonitis. Um, I was actually recently sick the other day. <laughs> so it was nice to take a little step back, but um, looking at this res these results and the way the market's been going, um, I think doing this once a week um, is also very doable. Um, given this these current market conditions, if the market was less volatile, um, this would be like five to ten pages on a given day, and it would just take... Um, you know, this would just take a couple minutes. Um, but, you know, given the conditions, uh, every day, literally, some stocks are just collapsing that really don't deserve it. Um, some do. There's a lot of zombie companies, um, a lot of companies that don't make money. They lose money. And they basically, I don't want to say steal, but they... They utilize public markets for a cash grab from people like you and I. Um, and we do not want to do that. We do not want to give our money to companies that are going to continuously do reverse splits or um, offerings on us. So, yeah. All right. We are almost done here. Three more, four more pages. Nice. There's going to be a lot of uniques. That's great. All right. All right, and we are done with 32 pages. Holy moly. How crazy was that? All right, so now we're going to scroll on back up to the A's, and we're going to grab all of the unique values once this uh, spreadsheet uh, has caught up. So I'm back. Hello. Man, that was a doozy, wasn't it? Okay, I'm back off. We going back up to the A. 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 Okay. And here we are. So we got this. And I'm doing a control as I click. 
and just trying to group these as close as possible. Oops. Dang it. What happened there? One, two, three, four. There we go. EXP was my last one. All right, we're already in the G's. We are making headway. H is. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. MDWT was my last one. So now we're on this, 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 this. Kind of glad I waited a month to do this because holy shit. This is crazy. Okay. NVR. Okay. Ooh, Sava, nice, okay. SPI, wow, okay, that's a runner, old runner. All right, we're in the U's, we're almost done with this one. Right, Via was last. All right, that was all of them. So now let's go all the way up here and let's, instead of grabbing all those, let's just throw on a filter, which is right here. And let's just sort this by A to Z and it should grab them all. There we go. Now let's remove the filter, remove the filter. Sweet, so it grabbed all those unique ones. There was 76 out of 600. That's about, well, 630 something. So it was a little bit more than 10%. That's crazy. Make or break, I'm gonna say everything is a break. Let's see. I don't think there are any makes. Oh, wow, there are some, great. I remember last time I was on this one, it, it had been a long time since anything had populated here. So things were definitely in the break phase. Uh, any uniques? Give me one. Yeah, that's cool. All right, and let's go to market wrinkles. Oh God, this one might be might be a bit. Twelve pages. That's not. That's not. That is nothing, baby. Okay, let's grab these and go. Look how fast this goes. You get pretty quick after you've been doing this for a while. Um, again, you could also purchase the Finviz Premium. Um, I've never purchased that. I've never had it. Um, but you would be able to export over in that little right-hand column. There is an option to export all of this. Um, just FYI. Uh, we're at about 20 minutes. That's crazy. I know this only used to take me 10 minutes to do all of these. Um, so I'm hoping this this yield is going to bring a bring a bounty, bring us some gold. Um, so we're at mid-March. Mid we're at mid-April right now. So 
all of these uniques for all of these scanners will be compiled at the end of the month. And then I'm going to run a duplicate scan on my master sheet. And then anything that's left from there will be cataloged and saved for life. For life. All right, and we are more than halfway done. I think we're about 70% done. We're just cranking through these. Right, yep, just a couple, well, one, one full page and one partial page, and we are golden. All right. All right, uh, there we go. We are slowly but surely moving. Uh, I believe we left off. It's got to be here. Let's see how many I can get. Ah, damn. LYB. WLL was the last one. Okay, Urban. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Should have four there. Dang, so annoying. Okay. Ooh, Coinbase. Very cool, very cool. All right. Matt and Bella, Levi Strauss, wow, okay, nice, EXP looks familiar, doesn't it, ooh, two, nice, okay, there we go, let's do what we did on the last one, and create a filter, and just sort A to Z, That'll bring them all up here so I don't have to do it manually. There we go. All right. Um, we got 40 uniques there. That's very cool. Tin bag two. What do we got? Please no. Okay, cool. Only 11. That's great. We're going to hit custom. These are potential 10 baggers. A little bit more of um, some criteria. compared to the um, 10 Beggars Falling Knives. Nice, there's one. Oh, that's been so long. Very cool. Okay, that's awesome. Now we're going to 10 Beggars. Nice, three pages. This one's typical. Um, I am not going to be, I don't think I'm going to get anything unique here, but let's go through the process here. I got to go 10 Beggars. Okay, let's go on down. Let's keep on ADVM. Nice. That is awesome. This is great. I took a whole month and a half off and I'm getting two uniques on something that I would normally not get. Oh, there's three. Cool. Come on. No, I already got those. Yep. Okay, so I got three or I got four. That's cool. Very cool. Bring these up here. Sweet. Handle forming. This is a cup and handle pattern. Um, and this is the handle part of the cup, which after the cup makes its move, it will start uh, a move which is equal to 100% of the low on that stock for um, the middle of the cup, which is typically the lowest part. So these are great. 
Um, uh, probably get some uniques. Yeah, cool. It's been a while. All right, these have all processed. All right. Did I get all those? Yes. MGLD, that looks familiar. All right, let's just grab these and go to the top. And I'm going to go back down and delete, delete the rest of these. Okay. All right, let's go to Under the Radar. Under the Radar. All right, we've got 24. Very cool. Uh, I'm going to guess there will be four unique ones here after a month and a half. Let's see. Stab. That's interesting. Ah, uh, zero. Wow. Small cap unicorns love this scan. This one is great. 174, that's not bad. Okay. Um, I'm gonna guess this will have three or four unique ones, but we'll find out actually. All right, let's grab all these bad boys. One. Two, twenty percent done. Thirty percent done. All right. Slowly but surely, we are just pumping these out. No, 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 no. All right. Sixty percent done. Oh, nice. We're getting some uniques. Very cool. This is worth. This is why we do this. This is finding us new customers. This is finding us money in the pipeline this is going to feed us when um our other income fails all right um and what i said there was just opinion okay uh cool very cool nectar two three four we got four we got five All right, that's the A's, so that's got to be all of them. All right, let's throw a little filter on, and then let's um, sort A to Z, potentially. There we go. Now let's take this filter off, and all right. Um, now we're looking at cup and handle opportunities. All right, and then the last one is think or swim filters, which is fun. 318, damn. All right, let's do this. This is what happens when we take a month and a half off. Um, so just going through here. Again, this, if you wanted to um, shrink down your sample size, I would say add some more data point filtering. Um, but again, if you are, uh, you know, dedicated and I think if you want to learn, um, you should stick true to your filters. Um, so, so, I mean, sometimes these won't even, this will be like one or two pages. Um, but you know, uh, like I said before, uh, the markets are gross right now. So we are getting a lot of results. Uh, so this scan is looking at potential cup and handle opportunities where the cup, not the cup, the price has gotten beaten up um, and could be potentially creating a cup. So if we just highlight 
That one's ugly. Like here, this could be making a cup. That could be making a cup. This could be making a cup, 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 cup. That one, yeah, that one looks good. Um, I lost my thought. <laughs> E-L-Y-S was the last one. So I need this. So uh, I'm very grateful to be getting these, by the way. So this video, um, definitely, if you're watching this or listening to this, um, this is what work looks like. <laughs> Gathering data. Um, just going through the motions. Um, hopefully these companies um, turn out great and make us money down the road. Um, again, this the market is crazy right now, so I would recommend doing this every once a week, uh, twice a month. Um, because doing this, pulling these, this amount of stocks every day would be extremely exhausting. Um, so we're at 30 minutes. Wow. Um, just five more pages. We got this. And then I will hop on camera and we'll talk about um, more stocks. And I'm going to open up my think or swim to grab the uh other two um filters scans um which i will i guess i'll describe that when i'm doing it so um it'll make more sense when you're seeing it versus right now when i'm not even in think or swim so um, I hope I've held your attention this long. I do not anticipate you to stay here. Um, but I just do want to show you the work that does go into gathering data, making, making it work. Um, so let's scroll on up into the A's. All right. Um, if I had to do this again, I would do it, uh, probably the first day of March. Um, just because this is brutal and, um, uh, very time consuming. All right. We are going down pretty quick. Netflix is on here. Jeez. Jeez Louise. That is awesome. Penn National Gaming. These are some big heavy hitters. Okay. All right. Let's go on up to the tippy tippity top. And let's add a filter and let's just sort A to Z. And then let's remove that filter. Okay. I'm going to jump back up on this screen here. Hello. Thank you for sticking with me on that. That was heavy and hard. So thank you for doing that. Um, that's not something you want to do every day with that amount of volume because you will lose your mind. Um, so now I'm opening Think or Swim. I'm closing down Finviz, but I have I still have my um, spreadsheet open. So we are going to um, grab, we're gonna run these fin, uh, not Finviz, these Think or Swim uh, scans, and then we are going to uh, import them into our spreadsheet. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, so while thinkorswim thinks, I'll swim with you guys. Um, so let's talk about stocks recently. Um, so we have the situation going on overseas. We have this health crisis. We have supply chain shortages. Um, 
I mean, these are very unprecedented times, to say the least. Um, you know, and the thing that you want to do and I want to do is to be able to have um, income, money, side, have a side hustle. Um, you know, be able to insulate yourself from uh, world events that could affect your job, your income. Um, you know, a lot of companies had shut down uh, during the first round and second round of the uh, closures. And so by having uh, starting learning about investing in the stock market, um, you know, it's going to be beneficial for you in the long run in your family for you to have these skills. Um, I've been doing this for seven ish years, five to seven years. Um, you know, it gets easier with time. Um, I will say that. Um, and yeah, if I can make seven figures in the stock market, you can too. Okay. Um, okay, so we're going to go to scan. And it might just be a hot second. All right, so we are looking at, I like to do a MACD scan, a uh, load scan query. And I have it here, MACD scan 2020 um, is my favorite. Um, so this looks at the monthly MACD. Um, I'm going to guess we'll probably get decent results here. Um, we'll see. Um, but... This one is great for showing momentum that is changing tide on a monthly time frame. So we are showing 500, so I have 187, so I'm going to save as watch list. And it popped up on another screen. I'm going to save this as 4-14 save and now i'm gonna run an otc over the counter stock scan um i've not run this one in a long time so i'm very excited uh you can see i'm very particular with my penny stocks i want them to be solid as plat platinum so i already have one that's 4-14 so now i'll just do 4-144 all right oh shit i didn't um Hide my account information. Uh, let's see. There we go. Whoops. Um, <laughs> I have to go in and edit that, but whatever. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to go to watch list, and I'm going to go to 4-144, and here it is here, and I'm going to export to file, and it'll be a CSV and i'll save it on my downloads sure and now let's go to the 4-144 and here's my otcs and we're going to export to file and i will save that uh also here so now that i did that uh let's go into my downloads and i'm opening up the csvs actually i don't know if i can open up csvs and yep i can't so i have to um come on so i've got to make my screen big here really quick and i'm going to work on that in the background so csv files can be opened up into google sheets so i am opening up google sheets again um to uh open this and let me, let me share my screen here in just a hot second okay so i'm in I'm in Google Sheets and we are going to file and then we are going to go to import. File, import. And we're at 39 minutes. All right, wow, this will be an hour long video. Great. 
All right. Um, so we are just waiting, 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 waiting. Uh, so let's upload. And yes, let's drag the first one. Uh, import data. Yes, detect automatically. All right. All right, so this is the OTC stock. So I'm just going to grab these, do a control C and go back to my watch list. And I'm going to go over to OTC. And I'm going to go on down. Let's see what we got. Awesome. Ooh, MRMD, that's a marijuana company, I know. All right, that's great. Um, so now let's do our Thinkorswim monthly blip scan, which is the MACD one that we just did. So now we are going to do the same thing. We are going to do the import. And we're going to drag and drop the uh, other watch list that we uh, exported. Do, 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 do. All right, so this one will be a little bit bigger. There's 187. Um, okay, open now. All right, yeah. So I'm just going to click the very first one, and then I'm going to hit Control, Shift, Down Arrow. And that's grabbed all those bad boys for me and bad girls. And I'm going to do the same thing, control shift down arrow, and then I'm going to paste. Paste. All right, let's see if we get any unique values here. We have a lot. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. We are already in the D's, not bad, E's. All right. FCT was the last one. Now we're in the G's, the H's, look at that. We're just cruising the J's. Nice, we have airlines on here. This also does include some over-the-counter stocks, which is okay. Um, I do not like to discriminate towards charts. So I more often than not will have broad brush strokes of um, requirements for stocks. I will let the charts tell me the story rather than um, the company. And that's because charts typically uh, tend to tell you the story before it happens. All right, let's create a filter here. It's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking, it's freezing up, it's going slow. Did it create a filter? Yes, now it did. And we're going to sort A to Z. All right, very cool. So that was a blast, would you say? <laughs> so um now that we've done that let's chart some out um not from i'm going to compile this at the end of the month but on my master spreadsheet i do have some that need to be charted out i think i have like 900 so i got work to do um let's i'm going to open up my ch -ch 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 
attached master sheet, which is right here. And close and everything else because I'm going to go back into Thinkorswim. All right, let me sh well, shrink myself again. So here's my master sheet. Uh, I'm going to go to the alert date and I'm going to look for blanks. That means I have not set alert alerts on these and I have not charted them out yet. So uh, we've clicked on that. Um, it is going to think and we are going to clear and we're just going to click blanks. OK. All right. We've got 760. Very cool. Not 900. So we're let's do a recap. Recap. And we want to look at the chart. And I I'm gonna look at the monthly time frame because that's gonna give us the bigger picture um, of the stock, which is what we want. We don't want to be looking at um, uh, days or weeks. Um, so we're gonna remove all the studies. Yes. And I'm gonna make my picture smaller there we go so we're gonna look at recap all right i've already kind of charted this one out so it's reconnaissance energy in africa so it sounds like an energy company in africa i am gonna check back here right where this point is which is 11 1 2022 great um all right, now let's look at re, R-E-E. -E. All right, re-automotive. Okay, so this one hasn't been around a long time, and it looks like it got beat up. Um, I will create, there's been resistance like this historically. Um, I'll do cycle brackets. So it's going to go high, low, high, low, high, low. Um, and over here, June of 2026, that would put this company at about one, two, three, about six years in operation, which is fine. So I will check back on this uh, June 1st, 2026. 6 1, 2026. Uh, let's move on to the next one Road, R O A D. Here we go, kind of. Uh, this one will be fun to chart out. Whoops. And I want to grab the channel drawing, which you can also click here and go to drawing tools and click that. All right, so I'm going to click the bottom of a solid green candle. There's always been support right about here. And resistance has been, well, it's kind of acting as support. Looks, looks like it was uh, resistance, it broke through, but fell back under, broke through, broke through, fell back under, broke through, and then it finally fell back under. And then right here is a confirmation. This is totally resistance. Um, let's draw some more lines in. It looks like right here was multiple highs where candlesticks could not break past and close. So that's good to know. Um, it looks like here is a bit of support right here. You can see it was resistance and then support, 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 support. So um, that's pretty, pretty solid there. Um, so looking at this, um, it looks just like a long, consistent pattern. It's a construction company, so that means their margins might be OK um it is making a bear flag here which is not good so it here's the flag pole like this um let me just make it a different color for you guys so there's the flag pole and then we have um here we go a flag being built like so, um, so when you do this, it kind of looks like a, an upside down flag, um, which is considered a bear flag. And so the next set of, uh, 
support is going to be probably right here. There was a lot of support there and here was a lot of resistance. So I'm going to see this coming down like this. It's going to go down. It's going to fall down in here. And it'll trade sideways for a little bit. So I'll look back to right here. Um, this is where it intersects. So which is 8-1-2023. That's totally fine with me. 8-1-2023. RVLGF. RVLGF. Gold. All right. Um, this is a bearish pattern. It's going to go up and then boop. Um, so this has been around for not that long. And it is a penny stock. It's on the OTC market. Um, these OTC um, commodity companies, gold, oil, precious metals, um, just so hard to trust them on the OTC. You really have to do homework. Um, so it looks like there's always been support right there. Every time the price has gone under here, it's always gone up. So we'll look out for that. And it looks like here is a good spot for support as well. You can see it bouncing up right here. So um, I could see this just tanking under. Um, again, here is a way to <laughs> look at it. I mean, doesn't matter which way you, you scope it. So I would probably do something like right here. This is a bear flag. So it's going to, here's the flag pole. Here's the flag. It's going to go bloop, black down to here. So this has been resistance. So I would, I'll check back here on 1-1-2023. One, one, that's, that's fine with me. Um, Sabs. Give us a good chart. Give us a big chart. Biotherapeutic. Gosh, so ugly. Such an ugly chart. Um, This doesn't even look investable, honestly. Like, it looks like it was potentially on the OTC and then it listed up at $10 a share and now it's down to 228. So I'm going to give this one just a couple years. I'm not even going to try and chart. It's just ugly. Um, I guess I can just throw something on. It's one big mess. Um, right above this candle so it matches up it's ugly i would not get in so i will wait um i'll give this 7 1 2023 um then i'll look at the books and see if maybe we got something going on or not starbucks very cool nice i'm gonna remove oh totally this is so cool Let's do a new drawing, create drawing set 2022. Let's look at long-term support. Why don't we look at this? Oh my gosh, you guys, long-term support, long-term resistance and support. Does that look okay? I'll take it. Man, once Starbucks hits, uh, 73 that is historically the time to buy since 2009 uh, man Starbucks was four dollars <laughs> so bounced up here bounced here bounced here bounced here bounced here bounced it's gonna come back and bounce again um, and then I want to do something like this look at that Ooh, that could be another range to be watching for um yeah let's do it let's make this a little bit less noticeable so if this falls through here 55 would be great for starbucks um let's zoom in a little more and let's put resistance there it totally fell out of this channel that's gross okay let's oof 
okay here's here's a good area because we can see it hit resistance here and now at the next candle it created support support and kept going and now it's just free fall that is just crazy um so here's a good inflection point here's a good inflection point here's a good inflection point i'm gonna go in the middle of all these and i'll just say i'm gonna come back to starbucks september 1st 2022 Nine. 2022 that that was a great chart to do with y'all that was worth it okay scfr Ooh, otc but it's it's chart looks bullish um great candle here um this looks like a big cup and handle oh man this is something to look into so when we have something like this, let's go ahead and let's just look at the OTC stock exchange. Um, this is worth just taking a peek into SCFR, SCFR. Um, ooh, they are limited disclosure. That means they might not be uh, legit. So we're going to look at the company profile. They have a website. Let's see how cool their website is. Um, it's not secure. That's stupid. Um, and they're a security company. So <laughs> this looks like a bust. It's in Miami. Um, financials. Yeah, they're, they suck. Okay. Good chart though. Very good chart. Um, Oh my God, 2 billion shares out there. They probably have done a ton of reverse splits. Yep, they've changed their name so many times, which is fine. Yep. Oh, they did they did forward split. But gosh, 2 billion shares outstanding. This is a no, no, no. Um, So, gosh, will this company ever be? It could be a company like... This could be one big cup and handle. Okay, let's just do this. Um, so this cup and handle will lead to uh, highs up to here, possibly. Um, and then this will have to do retests. So I'll check back on this company over here, 5125, uh, if they're still moving. 5125. All right, let's go back to SM. C E S M C E. Oof, this is a penny stock. SMC Entertainment. Gosh, look at this. Just so ugly. This is the ultimate resistance that we'd want to break. This would be fun to watch in the penny stock market. Um I mean, let's just take a peek. Let's find a gem. Let's find a gem, guys. S M C E. A Nevada corporation. Wow. Okay. Um, okay. So they have a filing. That's great. But I didn't actually want to click this. I wanted to click the OTC mark. Nope. Come on, guys. Let's go to OCC markets. It's going to take me to another PDF. Okay. Well, this company. Um, they exist. So let's go to the actual website and then do it here. I apologize for that. SMCE, come on, blue, be a real company. Pink, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, security details, oh my god, 1.45 billion. They have some money, okay. Um, and it looks like they're in South Carolina, not Nevada. They have a secure website, um, so they're a financial company. Uh, 2023, what are they talking about? Um, this looks, um, yeah, this looks ridiculous. Um, so other than that, it's a holding company. Oh gosh, that's the worst. Um, so they have a bunch of different bunch of websites in Australia. Um, Let's look at their financials. Uh, okay, they're losing money. 
no surprise there. They made some money, twenty-seven thousand. But they paid twenty, so they made fifty-six thousand. They paid twenty-eight thousand, so they're technically only making twenty-seven thousand. Ugh, one hundred sixty-nine thousand expenses. Ah, this is ugly. Um, I would check back in this. Uh, let's say we're here seven one twenty twenty-seven. That'll give them some time turning things around. Um, SPOM. All right, guys, we're at an hour. This is my longest video. So um, another OTC. Stupid. Um, thank you for uh, sticking with me if you did on how I do this process. Um, again, you probably won't be doing this exact same. Um, the scanners uh you'll probably be doing different ones depending on your risk tolerance uh there was growth um gosh i'm blanking income safety and value so um i recommend growth and value combination which is what all of my scans were so thanks again guys i hope you are doing well and thanks for your time i'll see you guys next time bye